What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. We're going to be talking about the four times gunslinger glitch. Uh, for those of you guys that watched me on Twitch live, um, it was you guys that wanted me to try it out. You know what I'm saying? You guys like, yo, um, this glitch is probably going to be, you know, pretty OP, especially for somebody like me that throws streaks. You know what I'm saying? Getting the ball out super fast is usually going to be pretty good. Right here, what we're doing is we're going to be going into the first game of the day. So like always, I just, you know, it's like clockwork, bro. You got to always just, you know, buy a pack from the store, win two games, buy a pack from the store, you know, like, and they always make it part of Mutt Master. So obviously in the next two months, we're going to be getting a new mat and it's going to probably be the same thing. Uh, your daily objectives, getting that stuff done, pretty much just making sure that you're logging into the game every day and doing different things like that. I like to share with you guys what I get out of the five times get a gold player pack. Sometimes we get glitchy. We have pulled limiteds um, out of the five times get a uh, gold player pack. So I just like to go ahead and share that with you. We're going to go ahead right now and take a look at Joe Burrow. Now, it's no particular reason why I chose Joe Burrow. Pretty much, he was a rookie premiere that I completed, and he gets Gunslinger in every slot. That's it. It's not a formula about, oh, this guy, no. He's a right-handed quarterback, which I prefer, and he gets four times Gunslinger, and that was it. All right, so the chat was like, yo, try it out. For those of you guys that are waiting on it, um, those videos periodically periodically release on G Myers World Gaming right here on YouTube. So if you guys are subbed there, as soon as it's going to come out, it's like clockwork over there on that channel. We get all those gameplays out. You guys have been getting NBA 2K. You've been enjoying that as well. So if you're not subscribed to G Myers World Gaming, please feel free to go ahead and do so right now at this time before you do anything else, before you even wipe your butt cheeks and you're getting off the toilet. Go ahead and go sub over there and let me know what's good. All right, so that's everything everything else that's good we still got the 49ers um you know team chemistry whatever going on we got like 26 of that we're not really using it as much and to be honest with you guys i'm going to be doing a little bit more experimentation because this is the time of the year where we're trying to get geared up for madden 21 because we have to go into that game you know what it is we try out stuff from the previous Madden. That's like the first week of Madden. All of my old heads know that. We try out things from the previous Madden for the first whole week. After we see the different mechanics and what's, you know, what we're able to get away with, we may change a few things, but that's what most of us do. So if you're just joining a family, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be looking for the typical things, you know, the coin methods with the sets, you know, making sure everybody understands the formats. Are they gonna be, you know, certain type of abilities, different things like that. That's what we do in the beginning of the year. So right here this is actually very interesting and i told you guys this is a very very good find because you know pretty much what happens is earlier in the year for those of you guys that's been riding with me since august i was running around with randy moss once he came out with um he, i just had three streak specialists on him and a lot of you guys are like yo how gmi how are you getting open on that streak what are you doing and we spoke about it and even when the last video when i you know i brought it up you guys were laughing like because some of you guys tried it and you saw that even if you were getting pressed, he would just shoot right off the press. So EA Sports kind of tuned uh, Streak Specialist early in the year. I don't know if you guys remember that. Around the time that they tuned like Armbar. This guy, by the way, was vicious with Taylor Mays. He was, it's like I had a pork chop stuck on the back of my butt cheeks. This guy was in the backfield immediately. He was a mongrel and I had a pork chop on my butt cheek because that guy was in the backfield every single snap. But that's not what it's about. So anyway, um, now with this gunslinger thing, it's it's unbelievable because what's interesting is let me know if you guys agree with us stacking it so many times if it says on the thing that it does not stack with itself shouldn't it be what the max of the four does with gunslinger like it look this is this is my thing right if you're if you only get three abilities offense and defense right you get three abilities on offense three abilities on defense i believe that those abilities should maximize what you're able to do so for us to have to go with four to get what Gunslinger actually does, I don't think that that's okay. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it. That's what Gunslinger should do with just one. Because that's what, you know what I'm saying? You got 11 guys on one side of the field and you get three. It's not even proportional. It should be OP. Your guys should be superhuman with wild strength. That streak specialist should make your guys animate and jump up and force people to have to utilize other uh, things on their defensive side of the ball. Now look. Regardless of what you use, people are going to complain no matter what, right? So if you're a guy that comes out, you know, put your hand up in the air, you run corner routes every play out of tight, right? Hike the ball, double team the left tackle, and run outside and throw a corner route and it can't be stopped, right? For some reason, some people will think that that's skill-based, right? 
but it's actually it's it's actually more glitchy than everything else that's going on in the game because if your corner is good and he has decent awareness he should be able to defend that but the corner routes similar to the crossers that were once a problem in the previous Maddens there's always a route that's crazy right the one thing I'll tell you though since EA Sports has made it a point that height matters in the game it doesn't really matter about you know defense like just like see what I'm saying with this guy this guy's hit sticking me every play it doesn't really matter about what you do to try to defend certain jump balls because the height is always gonna win you see what I'm saying you remember Rudolph what was that was that a playoff game with Rudolph when the Vikings he just threw it in the corner and everybody said it was a push off it doesn't really matter if it was a push off or not Rudolph, Kyle Rudolph is so much bigger than the corner that was on him, it doesn't matter. And that's what, this guy is going to hit stick me and just let me stop talking about the video every single snap. Like, alright bro, okay look, hit stick me again, my mom's number's yours. Like, you know what I'm saying bro? But anyway, the height factor is why now we're just coming out with two tight ends. Now, remember, we've been experimenting a lot. He just ran right around two blockers and nobody, like, they were like, alright, we don't know who he is. We're not going to defend it, we, you know, we're not, we don't, we're not worried about it. Like, just let him go back in there and smash this guy. Bro, the dude has three tackles four hit sticks and my mom's number that like that's the dude's statistical category like what the it, it doesn't matter bro it's fourth and 12 pick me off right here please thank you thank you cpu all right so look like i was saying right so with the way that everything works as far as the height factor of it because a lot of you guys are now starting to just throw streaks wildly and you're getting a lot of hate mail doesn't really matter those same guys that send the hate mail they're running corner routes they're running the ball every play on aggressive and getting away with it like it is what it is you got to find what works best for you similar to the people that made a lot of money off the game with the competitive series they found runs and certain things that worked that's what it's all about it's our job to try to figure out a way to stop it you know what i'm saying at the end of the day the bottom line about Madden is, no matter what Madden year it is, there's always been something that was super glitchy that somebody knew that they were able to, you know, pretty much profit off of, all right? It just so happens that EO, well, I'm about to say EO, like E-I-E-I-O, it just so happens that EA made it so that it's not as easy to do it. Because remember, Madden 17, for those of you guys that, you know, played Madden 17, go ahead and write number 17 for me in the comment section, please, so I can know who I'm talking to. And if you haven't played Madden 17, you can go and check out some of my uh, Madden 17 vids where you'll see what was called the swerve action. Now, this guy is trying to user the streak. It's not that I'm taking him with me the way Madden 17 was. He's trying to actually user it. Madden 17 was so glitchy that if you started to move around a little bit, the corner would automatically go and mirror what you were doing. So it made it so it was very, very hard to defend it. Right now, EA actually did a very, very good job with letting you keep control of your player. So me moving my player doesn't affect you. The, peop the reason that people are so mad about it is because when they get mossed, they feel that because EA made it easier starting in Madden 16, because obviously Madden 15 was a game where it was all about height, they like the predetermined animations. Most of these dudes don't have user skill, right? So they can't click on. Um, and that is pretty much what the, the ball hawk did. Like ball hawk made it so that you didn't have to hold the L2 button to stray first before a pick and people got used to it. So the game became easier and then that's all everybody wants. They just want it to be easy. Like this guy wants to throw Stevie's and he wants to get away with it. It just so happens that I got pick specialists. So, you know, more than likely Calvin is not gonna drop a lot of the picks. By the way, make sure that you have pick specialists on any player that you use her because they will very, very rarely drop picks. Just so you guys know that I've told you guys that like a while ago, but I'm trying to just make sure everybody's updated um, as I go up and you know, as I remember it when, it go, when it's going on. Um, the pick specialists make sure that these guys don't drop, you know, picks willy-nilly. So that's something that you guys should definitely take a look at, all right? Um, besides that situation, you know, people have to understand, as the game evolves, if you look at people that used to be good at the game, like really, really good, those individuals are not as good anymore. It's not like it's a coincidence. A lot of the game has become easier. But the thing that makes it difficult this year with the streak itself and why sometimes you're automatically intercepted with a predetermined animation is because EA doesn't really want that user skill to be as dominant. Because then the other dudes that come in that likes the fact that, you know, we used to be able to ball hawk and jump 95 feet in the air, they're not gonna like the game as much. So this balance actually works. You see what I'm saying? Because, for instance, if you come out and try to moss me, and I've been mossed to lose games like last play, whatever like that, but I understand what needs to be done defensively when I click onto my corner. 
is just of a matter of the timing. It's the same thing as the offense. Like, I need timing offensively, and you also need timing defensively to pick it. Because I've played guys, you know, that run my scheme, and, you know, they're savages. But I'll pick it off because I also lab certain things about positioning my player. Remember, it's all about timing. So, as far as everything is going with this four-time gun, uh, gunslinger glitch, it kind of makes it, re it's very, very difficult to stop the streak. So I would suggest that you guys try it out if you haven't already, because I think it may add another dimension to your game. As usual, I would love for you guys to keep the comments coming. Um, I'm just responding to a lot of the things that you guys are asking me to do. We're trying to have like, you know, a little bit more of a conversation about certain things with it. Like right here, this dude's getting mossed and he can't deal with it. You know, and it is what it is. Now he has to go slot box with his goldfish. Bro, it is what it is. We're going to see him the next time. Go ahead and rage quit. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. As I said before, continue to be safe. You know, take care of yourselves and family. Until next time. One love, y'all.